Here we are going to explore integer subtraction. Just like in the last video, we're going to use yellow integer chips to represent positives, and we're going to use blue integer chips to represent negatives. And just a quick refresher, these two combined make a zero pair. In our first example, we're going to start with a positive 5. So I'm going to represent that with 5 positive integer chips. And I'm going to subtract positive 2. So that means I need to take away 2 positive integer chips. What I'm left with is a positive 3. So what we're saying here is that positive 5 minus positive 2 gives me a positive 3. In my second example, I'm going to look at negative 4. So I'm going to represent that by 4 negative chips, 4 blue chips. And I'm going to take away negative 3. So that means I need to take away 3 negative chips. 1, 2, and a third. That means that I am left with a negative 1. So negative 4 minus negative 3 gives me negative 1. For my third example, we're going to start to combine the positives and the negatives. I'm going to start with positive 6 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a 6. And I need to take away negative 3. So that's simple, I just take away 3 negative chips. But if you notice, I don't have 3 negative chips. So I'm going to use my knowledge about zero pairs to add zero pairs to this. So I'm going to add another, I'm going to add a zero pair to this. They combine to make zero, so I can add it to it. Now I have one negative chip to take away, but I need three. So I'm going to add two more zero pairs here just to make things work nicely. Now you notice they're not all lined up, and that's okay for this situation. Um, if you recall, we have to remove three negatives. So I'm going to take away my three negatives. One, two, and three. They are now gone. And you will see that I am left with nine positive integer chips. So what we can say here is that positive six minus negative three gives me a positive nine. In my fourth example, we're going to start with three negative integer chips. So we're going to have negative three, and we're going to subtract positive five from it. You'll notice I don't have five positive integer chips to subtract. So I'm going to start by adding five zero pairs. There's one zero pair. Here's another zero pair. I've added five zero pairs to this, so the equation's still the same, but now I actually have my five positives to subtract. So I had negative three to start with, and I am subtracting five positives, so I can take away my five positive integer chips. You'll notice that I am left with eight negative integer chips. So we can say that negative three minus positive five gives me negative eight.